uh, well, I'm sorry. It, um, those are the, I'm thinking about the older cams. Some of the cams, like some of your older 1.9 and um, 1.6 carbureted engines, the camshaft actually had a lobe on it for the fuel pump. Um, but um, I think, was it for the fuel pump? Yeah, I think it had a lobe on it for the, what did it have a, don't get me to lying. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't even remember. But I remember um, some of the older camshafts, they had an, uh, a lobe um, right be, uh, they had a lobe right, uh, right where the distributor went in. <clears throat> right where the distributor goes in, and then you had that, 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 that race, and then you, you, go, you go like headed towards the front of the camshaft. You had another um, cam lobe that drove something. It looked like it drives an oil pump or, I mean, uh, a fuel pump or something, but like I said, don't get me the line. I can't quite remember exactly um, what that extra load was for on those cams. But this one, you can actually use it in these engines. I've done it. Like I said, I've done it before. Um, it's got that when I the research I did years ago, this this motor right here has a 436 lift camshaft in it. This engine has a 405 lift cam in it. So, you know, there's, like I said, there's ways to make these things perform, um, definitely ways to make them perform, man. Like, you, you know, you don't have to pull these engines out, do a whole swap, you know, <clears throat> just to try to make, you know, however much power or, you know, I know some of these other engines that people have been swapping out, they got, you know, 200 plus horsepower, you know, from the factory and stuff like that. And with a minor tune, yeah, they'll they'll do more but it's like yeah me personally i'm not knocking nothing nobody else does this is just my opinion when you pull these engines out of the escorts you ruin the history i understand we always saying that you know it's hard to find parts for these in some cases yes but in some cases no and i mean like in the engine swaps that we're doing like you know eventually that's going to dry up and you know, <clears throat> there won't be parts available just like parts are kind of hard to find for these. But there are people still using this engine, that engine, these engines and stuff. Over, like these engines are raced a lot overseas. These engines are raced a lot in like Puerto Rico, Japan, you know, stuff like that. And, over, and overseas and like Europe, these are, these are used a lot and stuff. So, I mean, like, <clears throat> I mean... All these engines get utilized, man, in other countries, and people race with them, and they make good power with them. They make great power with them. Um, but, but just remember, man, like these CVHs, don't underestimate them because they can make power just like these twin cam engines can. So, you know, don't think just because you think the valve cover is ugly and it's got three bolts holding it down. That it ain't gonna make power, you know what I'm saying? So, or just because it says Ford on it, you know, it says Ford on it, it ain't gonna make no power. It ain't gonna make no power, you know. It ain't gonna make no power. It will. It'll make a whole lot of power. I've seen this engine right here take 360 horsepower stock block. I've seen this one take, I think, 600. I want to say Carlos Rivera had one of these up to like 600 horsepower stock block, you know. Um, and I know. That one's capable of three. This is capable of three. That's capable of three on stock block. It just all depends on your tune and on your setup. You got the right setup. You got the right tune. This engine will live a lap, like live a lifetime. Now, everything has limits. Everything, every last one of these engines is going to have limits. But they make rods and pistons for that. They make rods and pistons for this. They make rods and pistons for that. They make rods and pistons for this. They make rods and pistons for this. So, a lot of the engines you see out there making good high horsepower, they ain't running no stock block. Some of them ain't. Some of them are running <clears throat> full-fledged, you know, um, forged rods and, you know, forged pistons and stuff. So, so, you know, there's no reason why none of these platforms will perform. Because they will. They will. They will perform. Right now, I have this one, turboed. And we have two of these turbos, and I'm gonna tell you what. And they're this was on stock block, but this one, this motor's hurt now. But these two are still on the stock block, and they run great. They perform good. You know, they make great power. So, so I just said that to say this, guys. Like, don't don't underestimate the CVH. 
This is a part of the Escort family too. These engines got to be shown love, just like those get shown love. So, you know, like I said, I can't tell nobody what to do. I can't tell you how to do your project. I can't tell you how, I can't tell you how to do any of that stuff. But what I can tell you is what I know. Not only will all these make power, but especially these three. These three will make power too. You know what I'm saying? These three will make power. These CVHs will make power. And I basically made this video mainly based on the CVH platform because a lot of people don't think that these, this platform is, is capable of making power. And it is. It's capable of making plenty of power. You know, um, so, so I just want to get on here and explain that to you guys. Um, you know, like I said, man, they make standalone computers that will power all of these. All of these. Holotech, standalone, mega squirt. Um, what else is out there? Uh, that's, shoot, those are the main three that I know of right now. Um, Holly, Holly Performance. Holly makes ECUs, you know, just for just about anything. You know what I'm saying? So we can make this plat these platforms perform. There's no reason why we can't. And like, I'll be honest with y'all. When people come to me and say, how do you feel about an engine swap? I don't do them. I'm not going to recommend somebody else to do them. But if that's what they want to do, then they're going to have to, you know, figure that out on their own or do the research themselves or find someone that's done it. Me, I don't do engine swaps. This is what I do. I make power out of the platform that's there. That's what I like to do. I make power out of the platform that's there. Now everybody's going to want to do an engine swap. Some people want to make power out of each and one of each and every one of these engines right here. So <clears throat> I much rather have the knowledge and know-how to make all these work rather than saying, oh man, just pull that motor. You're better off going to get this engine, this wire harness, this, all this. Then you got to change the mounts. You got to get custom axles. You got to do all this crazy stuff. Instead of just saying, all right, well, you can just... We can just take this engine right here, turbo manifold, turbo, do some plumbing, put a tune on it, get a good eight, get a good ECU, put a tune on it, change your fuel system, stuff like that, and you're good, you know what I'm saying? So, so basically, just wanted to get on and show everybody my nice valve covers. <laughs> no, but um, I wanted to just let everybody know, man, the CVH world makes power too. Not only does the... BP world make power. Not only does the Z Tech world make power, but the CVH world makes power as well. You know, we make power with any of these. Them CVHs are the most overlooked and the most underrated engines right now. Right now. When I go to the track with my red car with Raphael and they see this thing go down the track <clears throat> and I got the hood up, everybody's scratching their head because they're like, I could have sworn you had a swap. Is this the engine that comes in here? Of course. It's like, man, I, I thought you had a swap. This thing is quick. Yeah. And the thing about it is, back then, you know, I was still on a stock ECU. But now, of course, I'm on a standalone, you know. <clears throat> but, you know, now real quick before I get off here, I will say, as far as a stock computer, as far as having any type of high performance, like if as far as like having like force induction with a stock computer, out of all five of these, this engine right here and this engine right here are probably the two easiest to tune on the stock computer. The rest of them, you got to do a lot of trickery to the ECU if you want to stay stay on the stock ECU. You got a lot. You got to do a lot of trickery to the computer. I learned this a lot with this one. Um, all of the all of these have the all four of these have the E4 set up. And of course, that's just that's got a Mazda computer, but yeah, all four of these have the E4 set up. But this one and this one are the most easiest ones to tune by the vein airflow meter with a stock computer. Um, so yeah, I've, I've definitely learned that for sure. But uh, but yeah, guys, like, but as far as like aftermarket ECUs, you can get any one you want to get for any of these, and they're not going to be cheap. I'm going to tell you right now. They're going to be anywhere from a thousand to probably two thousand dollars to get you a good air con good computer. Um, that's cool, and that goes for anything. Like, you know, you do a K series swap, or you do an MZR swap, you do a KL swap, or whatever swap you decide to do. Um, the computer world is going to be just expensive, if not more expensive than 
what you got right here. You know what I'm saying? So got to think about that too. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, everybody's budgets and bank accounts are different. So you're not going to be able to, you know, do, you ain't going to be able to spend $3,000 like Joe can spend $3,000 on his bill. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <clears throat> and that's why I try to explain to a lot of the people that come to me with this, with these questions and stuff. What would I do? What would I do? Can I do this? Can I do that? Sure. You can do anything you want to do, but it depends on, you know, how skilled you are, how knowledgeable you are, and, you know, how your finances look as far as a build, you know. So that will also determine which route you want to go, you know. But, guys, um, just wanted to basically get on and uh, share that with y'all. And uh, thank you, for everybody, for tuning in. Um, I'm glad I was able to get my hands on these last two valve covers so I could do this. I'm sorry I didn't have the one valve cover for the 1.6 liter um, CVH. So, I mean, like I said, those are hard to find. I probably could have mentioned somebody. You probably could have sent me one, but I didn't think about that. But you guys get the concept. You guys get the, you guys get the, you get the concept. You get the point. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with this. Just don't ask that. Don't ask to make these three engines. Show these some love too, because I'm telling you, 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 you polish and rub on these like you polish and rub on these. Guess what? They're going to perform. They don't have, they don't have no choice but to perform, you know? So think about it like that, man. Like me personally, I probably won't ever do an engine swap because I'm happy with making the power that you can make out of these. Like I don't plan on making a thousand horsepower, five or 600 maybe. And that's capable out of all of these. You can get five or 600 horsepower out of each and every one of these engines. There is no reason why you can't. You can make five to 600 horsepower out of all these right here you know stock form absolutely not <laughs> but built oh yeah most definitely so remember guys technology is high these days technology has advanced big time back in the day it was different you know what i'm saying technology was different back in the day now technology has changed and advanced a lot so you can do anything you want to do to any of these but these three right here that have been underestimated for years Stop underestimating them because these engines actually do make power, you know, and um, I got numerous videos on this, you know, and YouTube videos on that engine making power. So, so I just said that to say this guys, again, the CVH world, don't leave it out because it's a part of the escorts too. Like this is where it started for the escort. These are the engines that basically came in the escort first. These came in the escorts first. Not this. Not this. These came in the escort first. These are here first. So you got this one, this one, this one, of course, and then this one, and then this one came. So so guys, keep our like our like our slogan says, keeping the Ford Escort platform alive, and this is what we mean right here. This is what we mean. Keep it alive. Keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it reliable, and keep it cost effective. That's all you got to do. So, if anybody's got any questions on any of this, feel free to hit me up on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, and I can walk you guys through whatever you want to know. Um, I got experience with the, uh, I got experience with um, all these engines here. Um, my, my Focus SVT has a Z-Tech in it, so I've got, you know, I've got quite a bit of experience with it, you know, um, and I've got two cars with that engine. I've got quite a bit of experience with that, you know, so to me, in my eyes, all these CVH engines are pretty much the same. The only difference is the size of the valves, the size of the ports, and the um, combustion chamber uh, shape. That's about it. So, so thank you guys for tuning in, um, and, uh, I really appreciate you guys that are tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Um, you know, like I say, if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. And if I don't have the answer, I'll definitely get it for you. So, uh, so thanks, guys, again. I appreciate each and every one of y'all tuning into my channel. Um, and I'll do these videos as detailed as possible, as detailed as I can. And um, I really appreciate every person that has tuned in, that has reached out to me privately, asked me questions, stuff like that. I appreciate you guys. 
and I will continue to help y'all and continue to share the knowledge with you guys, especially on these three beasts right here <laughs> and those two too. So, so thank you guys. Appreciate you. And again, one more time before I go, keep the CVH platform alive as well as the BP and the ZTEC. All five of these engines can do whatever you want them to do. It just depends on what you're willing, how far you're willing to go. You're going to have to do research either way you go for anything you want to do. So research will take you very far. So just remember that. All right, guys. I'm going to jump up off here and go get some other stuff done. And um, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Like I said, I'm glad I was able to do this video for y'all. Get these valve covers laid out, you know, slash engines. <laughs> um, it's kind of like, so I can show everybody, you know, and that way everybody has knowledge of where these engines come from, what cars they're in, stuff like that, how much power they make, all that stuff. Oh, one more thing before I get off, before I get off. All right, so remember, this engine right here, 86 through 90, and this makes anywhere from 108 108 to 117 horsepower 91 through 96 88 horsepower 91 through 96 127 horsepower 97 through 2000 110 horsepower 108 to 110 horsepower 98 through 2003 anywhere from yeah this is 130 horsepower so this is 130 horsepower here. So 130 horsepower, 108 to 110 horsepower, 127 horsepower, 88 horsepower, anywhere from 108 to 117 horsepower. So that's what kind of power we are working with there. So, um, so yeah. So one of the, I'm, I missed that part. I was like, damn, I didn't, I didn't even say nothing about how much horsepower they made. But uh, I, I'm glad I'm, I remember it. I'm glad I remembered it. <laughs> so, so yeah, guys. So again, I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna hop off here, get these valve covers put away, and uh, appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you got a video that you want me to put out there, feel free to let me know, and I'll see what I can do to put it together for you. All right. I hope everybody has a wonderful and fun. Beautiful Saturday today. Go out and have fun. You know, um, do some cool stuff. You know, work on your car, work on your project. Go ride around, go cruise around, do whatever you do. <laughs> Spend some time with the kids, the family, or whatever. So, all right, guys, I'm going to hop off here. Peace out.